Alicia and Matthew, congratulations to the two of you. I absolutely adored the film. And Matthew, my mom and I actually went to the stage production in 2016. So there's us doing our Matilda poses. <laughs> Brilliant. So, nice. Yeah, so I absolutely love seeing this movie come to life. And I, of course, love the line that Ma that Matilda says, where she says, I really like reading. It's like a holiday for your head. So Alicia, I was wondering for you, what were your favorite childhood books growing up? Because Matilda was one of my favorites. Here's my childhood Matilda book. Of course, I like Harry Potter as well. So what are some of your favorite books that have shaped you? Um, well, I read... Obviously, I read Matilda when I was um, younger in school, and like I loved The Witches when I was younger, and James and the Giant Peach was one of my my favorites. And yeah. um, I I read like all of the Mallory Towers books because I loved them. They were one of my favorites. Um, and I really liked. I only read this recently, but I like A Good Girl Guide to Murder. I really like it. Um, I read. The Mallory Towers books. I read a lot of Ina Blyton and Roald Dahl and C.S. Lewis. I read all the Narnia books and loved them. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a those are amazing. So I love the production design in this film. It's so beautiful from the schoolyard to Miss Trunchbull's crazy classroom to even Miss Honey's house. What was that one set for you that you just really loved working in and acting in? Because everything looked great. But Alicia, what was your favorite set as Matilda to act in? Even like the Wormwood house looked really I, cool. Yeah, I was actually going to say, I actually really enjoyed it. It was really cool. My mom loved that. Um, but I really liked the assault course too. Um, it was really, really cool. Um, and also the hot air balloon because... I actually got to go up in it, but it was in like a warehouse sort of thing, I think, and it went yeah, like to the top of it. But I really liked um, the Wormwood House. That's cool. Matthew, what about for you? Was there, a, I know like all of your sets were amazing, but is there a particular one that you loved or try to recreate from the stage production? Well, we had great designers on the film and uh, set and costume designers. And um, so everything was wonderful. I do remember... Um, that, you know, when you um, ask, for, you do storyboards first, you know, usually if like, it could be like this and you have meetings and you sort of think up and conjure up ideas uh, for the script and what things might look like, as well as going on recce's and stuff. And I remember the first time I worked, walked onto um, stage H, which I think is the second largest soundstage uh, in the UK, and they were building Cruncham Hall interior, the school interiors, all the corridors and classrooms. And I thought, wow, they're really going to build this thing. <laughs> this We're really making a film now. <laughs> and there were like dozens and dozens of people up ladders and with drills and, you know, timber and, and plasterers and stuff. And they were building the inside of a school. And that's a really strange experience because it's when you see your imagination be turned into a reality. And that's quite bizarre. Uh, yeah, no, I love that. It's it's insane. Um, I know that you obviously did the stage production. Is there a particular film or book that you would like to see adapt into a stage production or something that you want to do? Well, that's an interesting question. And you have to be really careful because sometimes you love, you know, you, you love something so much in one form, you think, I bet I want to see it in another form as well. And, and it's not always true that it can work. So, right. you know, I, um, I have had conversations in the past about various movies that I love and whether they could work on stage. Um, but one of my favourite movies I think could maybe never work on stage. And, um, and that is E.T. And I oh, thought that would be it, so uh, cool as a stage production, though. Well, if you could would it, it work. though? I don't know. Wouldn't want to be the person that messed it up for sure. <laughs> uh, there's there's absolutely no way well it was a pleasure to chat with the two of you I cannot wait for fans to see this version of Matilda I thought it was so charming and so great and Alicia you are absolutely fantastic you truly carry the film so congratulations to the two of you